So in last video, we just discussed how, how this series is going to be executed and what we will learn and what is the agenda of this series. So let's get started with our first, first lecture in that direction. So, so this is an empty project. Uh, I'm using Eclipse IDE. So it's an empty Maven based project. Okay. So if, if you see the project structure, this is having nothing except this form.xml and the test files. So I, I was having uh, app.java here, so I removed that. And let me remove app test.java as well because we don't need it for the time being. All right. So in this, in this video, we will talk about how to create a single threaded blocking server. So let's create a Java file. Let's name it the same. Single threaded blocking server. And we will need public static void name. So let's check it. All right. So I will I will just uh, expose a server on port 8080. So server socket. And let's call it server socket. How to new server socket. So it have a constructor with where you could specify the port and by default uh, it would be exposed on 88. Well by default it would be exposed on local host. So it would be like uh, you would be able to uh, access this on localhost 8080. Okay, now, okay, so this is showing IO exception. So we have to either catch it or add it to our method signature. Let's, let's add it to method signature for now. Okay, and let's close the server socket. Close. Okay, uh, because we will eventually need to do that. To avoid memory leakage. Now, so let's say, so we, we, we will keep on receiving. So that's that's good. That could be done this way. So we are saying, okay, while true, do following. Okay. So let's let's socket. the socket dot accept and now from socket we could get uh, into stream and out the stream let's assign these to the respective variables say into stream Yes, let's 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 call it into stream. Let's use the right names. And output stream. stream. Okay. Okay, uh, let's let's do one more thing here. Let's enclose this code in dry cache block. And then finally let's say looks better so definitely like we could we could close uh, these uh, input stream and output streams as well but let's not worry about that for the time being okay so let's do this so I got input stream so if I have to read uh, everything from input stream I could do it this way and out while this is, is, is very native. So if, if you are using Java 9, uh, there is one method available in input stream that is transfer to. So if you want, you could use that and that way you could transfer data to output stream. But for the time being, we would uh, write the code. So out equal to input stream dot read this read and till the time it's greater than zero, we could do it. 
name is you could write it to output stream dot white. So this is this is a very basic example of creating a single threaded blocking server. Okay. Let's run it and then we will improve it a little bit. Okay, let me open my terminal. Uh, I will, I will check this uh, disk issue later. So I have uh, I have installed the telnet uh, in advance. So you could install it on your machine first. Uh, that that's a pretty good. So so let's let's try to access server or eighty eighty. So now we are connected. So as of now, if you see what I'm doing is I'm reading from input stream and I'm just putting it directly to output stream. So whatever I write here, that would be repeated. So if I write hello world, it would be repeated, right? But how it is blocking? Let's try to connect from another terminal. It's not, it's not doing any operation for us because this this one is blocked because of this one. Okay, though, though this is like still working. All right. So that was the example of single threaded blocking server. Now let's do some improvements. Okay. So first thing we could do is. Let's not let's not output the same same data. Let's let's do one thing. Let's toggle the letter case, right? And and leave the numbers as is. So for that, let's let's write out a method. Public static toggle case, and we will receive our uh, our character, so called character, but it could be anything, a character, a number, or any any special character as well. So for, that, for the time being, let's call it uh, data, and we will return int. I will use ternary operator here, so I will say character dot is alphabet data. If it is alphabet, what I will do. I will say toggle it. Okay, so that's how we toggle. Otherwise, we return the data itself. Okay, so I can now use this method here. Let's save it and let's rerun it. So we must have been disconnected as as we stopped the server on the terminal. So yeah, we, we are disconnected on the terminal. Now let's connect back. And now if I say, hola, how are you? See, it has just toggled the cases, but it won't, it won't toggle the numbers. Okay. So one good thing we could do is we could pull this out to a util file so we are doing this uh, because uh, we, we would like to reuse some some of our code okay now we need to import it Okay, we put it. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So uh, another thing, like we 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 haven't closed these input stream and output streams. So this is this code is uh, is prone to memory leakage. So let's do that. 
So we could use try with reshows here. Right. And let's see. Confirm by return. Looks better. So now our uh, streams and uh, socket would be closed automatically. The I wouldn't like to close my socket immediately. So I would keep my socket outside for the time being. Or uh, let's let's go ahead uh, with the same code. Let's let's see what problem we face. Okay, and what is saying? We have this code, right? We have token case method in util file. Why is complaining about it? Out. Okay, that's one it. Let's see what issue we get. Okay, so we are good. Now let's go here just to check if everything is working fine. Yep, things look good. So we have created a single threaded blocking server, and I think we, we, we have got more scope of improvement in this code. So let's do a little bit of that. So if you see, the code inside the file is basically just reading from an input stream and then writing to an output stream. So, what I could say is I could I could extract this out to convert, right? Let, let's call a method. Uh, let's just create a method uh, named convert, which is converting an input stream to some other data and and writing to output stream. So let me do that. So we could use uh, this feature refactor extract to method. So let's convert and write. Let's, let's, let's take a mode out of name. Okay. So now, nah. so we will we will do some modification because I wouldn't like server socket to be passed as parameter. Rather, I would like the socket to be passed as a parameter. Now, we got one problem here. Like, if, if you're using Java 9, you could have done this, right? But because I'm using Java 8, so I can't do this. So, for the time being, if I have to use try with this show, so I have to do this. Say, Ten, ten socket equal to socket, and I could use the ten socket like this. So now our code looks a little more better. So let's run it to to take to check uh, if things are working fine. It's just a sanity test. Let's connect to a server and say hello behind. It should work well. Yep, we're good. So that's all for this video. So stay tuned and see you in the next video. And there we would be talking about how to create a multi-threaded non-blocking server. And yep, don't forget to subscribe for more knowledgeable videos. Thank you.